it's galaxy season it's also in the middle of March <laughs> Tonight will be the first clear night I've had since February. We've had a lot of rain and snow, but look what I have out. We're gonna try to shoot some galaxies tonight. So tonight I'm going to shoot M81 and M82. I shot them last year, so I'm just wanting to try and prove to myself that I'm getting better. And also, we're going to see the awesomeness of Cyril 1.2 Beta 2. Okay, here we are in Cyril 1.2.0 Beta 2. I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos on all the new features. Uh, came across one channel, Deep Space Astro. He does some very fine videos on new features. Stuff I'm going to go over in my processing right now he's also done some really nice scripts i have a couple of them here you can see dsa fix misshapen stars and dsa's star reduction yeah, they do what they say if your stars are a little egg shaped you run that script it runs starnet it basically does all the processing for you and fixes your stars and makes them round can be a game changer. I'm not going to use either of the scripts today. I'm just going to do it all manually so we can go through all the new stuff. I'll leave a link to Deep Space Astro's YouTube channel in the description. You all need to go there if you haven't and check it out. Subscribe if you don't. What is wrong with you? Okay, let's get started. So I have stacked my galaxy picture of M81 and M82. Uh, this is a new thing I've noticed in Cyril that it puts however many seconds that you have stacked. So I have 71,258 seconds. I just barely got almost two nights before it got cloudy again and it's raining right now. So it's going to be raining for another couple of weeks again. Okay, so we'll open that result.fit. And here is my picture. So we will go, first we'll go to auto stretch and that looks horrible. I have lots of stacking artifacts apparently. So first thing we'll do is crop all the really bad stuff out. Just draw a box around that, right click and crop. All right, now go to a, one of the other channels beside RGB and do background extraction, generate. Okay, so now we'll quickly go through by right clicking, getting rid of the squares where it looks like it's touching things we don't want and We'll add a few squares where we do need it. One thing I've found out is you do not want the selections on a star. So if you see any of those, we'll move those out of the way. So give me a second, we'll be right back. Okay, now that we've selected our background, we will compute background. Okay, close. Now we will do color calibration, color calibration. We'll choose where we want to normalize our background. Use current. And then background neutralization. And then highlight a star. And use 
change that to set our white reference. All right, go back to RGB. Now we will do the photometric color calibration. You need to choose M81 or M82, it doesn't matter. We'll go M81. And my focal length is okay and the pixel size, so we'll click OK. All right, that succeeded, so we'll close that. Okay, now we'll go back to linear. And now we will run one of the cool things they've just put into Serial. Star processing, star net removal. Okay, so I will check pre-stretch image because I'm still in linear. If you do a stretch before you run this, then you probably wouldn't check that and probably blow stuff out if you did. So we'll just pre-stretch image, generate star mask, and I'm not going to recompose stars on completion because I want to process the starless and the star image separately. So we'll hit execute and we'll be right back when this is done. All right, we are back. Starnet has ran. And now we will go to the second part of the coolness of Cyril, which is generalized hyperbolic stretch transformation. So the first thing we do, we leave it on independent color channel. We leave it on independent channel values generalized hyperbolic transformation we set our symmetry point we'll zoom in a little bit here and we'll set our symmetry point on this side on the first stretch we set the stretch intensity all the way up we'll go back to one here and then use our stretch factor So we can start seeing you can do a pretty good aggressive stretch here first Try not to blow out the cigar galaxy right off the bat. We'll apply that. You can see the line goes back to straight. And next, I found out that if you go down to the linear stretch, you can set your black point. Bring that back to the left. But make sure you don't clip any of your black data. Apply that. And then we will go back to generalized hyperbolic transform. And this time we will set our symmetry point over here on this side. Keep our stretch intensity down a little. Okay, I'm going to apply that, and before I start blowing out the highlights, I'm going to set my symmetry point right in the middle. And since I want to bring the lows up a little and not bring the highlights up so much so I don't blow things out, I'm going to change to inverse generated. That means this part will go down and this part will go up instead of the other way. Try that. You can see I'm not blowing out my cores this way. This is what I found works best for me on this picture.
and you just mess around, go back and forth. So you get everything looking the way you want it. You can work with your highlight protection point and your shadow protection point too. Just gives you a lot of flexibility. All right. Now we're going to do just a little color saturation here. Now I know in the outer parts of the Bose Galaxy there probably should be a little blue. So I'm going to just bump up the sign just a little bit to see if I can bring that out. And if that doesn't work totally, we'll just go back to the hyperbolic stretch. And choose the blue. Okay, I think we're done here, so don't forget to save before you move on to the next thing. So now we'll open the star mask. And go back to the generalized hyperbolic transformation. So if you want to keep your stars all pretty and colorful. You should choose the human weighted. Turn those two channels back on. And this is supposedly supposed to keep your colors better. So. Set our symmetry point and do a stretch. We'll do an independent stretch too. Just, they look a little too colorful to me. All right, that's a nice star field. So now we will save that also. And now, the last cool star processing thing is a star recomposition. So we'll choose a starless image, foreground, and the stars, a star mask. Black point up a little here. And there we are. So do I think I can bag the GIMP with this new version of Cyril? Well, I can't quit messing with things, so I think I'd probably take it into GIMP just to do a little contrast or something. I could probably do it in Cyril, but I'm just too dumb to know how to yet. I'll keep trying. So, that's the same image I took last year. I like this better, so I guess I am improving. That's the whole point of this hobby, right? If this has helped, like, share, subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments. Be sure to go to Deep Space Astro's page and I'll talk to you later and clouds suck.